Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Director. In today's tutorial we are going to see how to configure searchable address in IDD application. In order to demonstrate we have created few tables. The very first table which we aware about it's nothing but the CBO party. It has the columns first name, last name, full name and SSN. We also created the address table and it has address line 1, address line 2, city, state, country and zip and we have created one more column, one more table and the name of table is party address that is a relationship table. This party address table has the party ID and address ID object along with the address type column. <coughs> so these are the basically three tables required to configure the searchable address in the party subject area. Now let's go and see a couple of things. So we also configure the match path with the party address as a parent to child relationship and address as a child to parent. So this is address as a child to this party address parent. So these are the match path we have configured. In the match columns we have configured the person name as a full name, address part 1 as address line 1 and address line 2. If you notice the key type is person name give it the standard and the source table is bo table bo party table we also called as the initial data load match rule it has two match columns address part one and person name which we recently saw now along with that on the address table also we have configured the match if you see the match path is part address party address which is the parent to child match column will be just party address which has the address line one and address line two and we have the along match rule set which contains the address part 1 column. We don't necessarily need this um, um, match configuration for configuring the searchable address but the reason is we need to have those in the match in the path section. If you have the path section then and then it will be available for the IDD application. Also we make sure the all the objects are secured so that they can be accessible in the IDD application. So once you configure the base objects everything, uh, when you configure the base object, the relationships with the, the base object tables, if you configure the mappings and also configure the queries. So we have configured the queries for the IDD. First query is IDD party dis, uh, dis display which have the three tables party, party address and the address table. We also created separate address uh, query, party query and party address. Based on those queries uh, we have created package. The very first package is party put display package which will have the only party table and uh, we also have the party display package which will have the queries based on these three tables. Along with that we also created the address package. This is required we'll see why it is required. So basically we need to create at least two package one is for the address and one for the party display which will contains all the columns. Once you create all these packages make sure all these resources are secure. Once you make a secure resources we can go back and see in the IDD application what are the things we need to configure. So in order to demonstrate we have created the application name TechnoGuru. It has two subject area groups. The very first subject area group is party and the second subject area group is address. Yes, we need two subject area groups. First for the searching the customer and the second for the searching the addresses. So if you want to if you want your subject area to be searchable for the address then you have to create a separate subject area group for the address. Let's talk about the party subject area group. The party subject area group is based on the party table CBO party and it is non searchable that means you can update or add the record. Then we have created a subject area the name of subject area is customer display name is customer and you can see the display package we are using here is IDD PKG party display. 
here in the potential match link column we are selecting the roid object by default you will not able to see the roid object when once you select the uh, when you click the change column selection when once you import all these columns then you can see you can see all the columns which are available to select so then you can select it and make sure none of this column is required particularly the roid object because roid object is auto generated and it should not be required column so once it is done just click on the ok along with that if you go to the search in the search you will see the search subject sub uh, search on child you can just click add and if you want to search on any particular thing suppose you want to search on address just select that and select the columns and click on ok and save ok so that is first thing then after that we have created our grand child that is addresses it's very important now because if you miss anything you will not able to achieve what we are expecting so name of this sub subject area child is address display name is addresses the child tab is reference so it is kind of acting as a lookup the match path this addr is coming from the mdm hub so if you see go to the base object particularly for the party so you will see the addr so this name is coming in the IDD application here you can select any kind of default view like the form or we have the other table view also you will not see the subject area link column so you can change that also only when you can once you select all these columns here so once you select that from the drop down you can select what are the column you want to select let's select this column and you will see all this column make sure the roid object column is not required if it is required then it will create a problem so just make sure remove that in order to remove just click on the edit layout it will automatically reset to the proper values the same thing applicable for the uh, address uh, id also Adri row id object for the party address table so just click and save it once it is done you can save it uh, so these are the details you can configure the party subject area group for the address subject area group this is based on the address base object table so it will be on the address base subject table you will have the subject area in the address subject area it is based on the address package so if you remember we created one IDD package address so that is required here we need to create this address package otherwise we will not able to search the addresses once you create it, make sure there is no column with the required particularly roid object click ok and once you are done with this you can just save the your configuration then you can generate the business entity schema and then the finally validate the schema so right now it is saying the cbo party roid object in the layout customer is cannot be required so make sure you are making appropriate changes so whenever you you can say this is required it should not be required click ok click ok and save it save the option again make sure you are generating the business entity schema because it is continuously interacting interacting with the c repo cocs table so now we are good now we have to just redeploy this i'll just clear the cache and redeploy it's very simple very quick uh, things click on this link you will able to access the IDD application now we'll going to create one customer record when you click on the customer record it will go to this page suppose here I'm searching Kunal suppose Kapoor you can give any name there is no restriction as we know and now interesting part will come under the ad addresses normally whenever you click on the plus sign that is the adding address it will give those fields available here but if you don't want that user might be want some user friendly thing so you can just click on that because the way we have configured the address search it is going to search in the existing cbo addressable so this is very simple just clicking 
the plus button if you know the some addresses you can just type one two three and search so let me search with the asterisk so you can get some addresses if you don't know the particular address just you can do the blank search also and just what are the address comes here just double click and that address will be available here immediately so no need to type everywhere the another interesting part of this uh, configuration is we have if you remember we have created the links so we have created the links based on the raw ID object of the address table so if you click on this link it will go to that particular address in that base object table of the address so that is the reason here we need the separate subject area group for the address now so we'll just click on the apply here also apply for the address and save it so this address will be saved automatically now if you want to change this address so I'll create a one more address how to create address in order to create address go to the uh, create master data and click on the address it will open a blank page I'll say 444 street apartment suppose 200 city New York state is New York country USA suppose people 1010 apply it and save it it's very quick it is it is not taking time so what I'll do again I will go to the queries I will search some addresses so let me do the random search here so I got one suppose what are the record we created Kuna let's update its address so we got the address what we'll do just edit it now we can see the address is already open so if you want to update its address just click on this apply save and if you go to that customer again you will able to see the updated address let me show you that so you can see the updated address is here if you want to add one more address which we recently created which start with something 444 just click and run you can see that address just double click and apply now this time the the address will uh, show two addresses you can see here it's one of two so if you click on the next it will say the two of two that is 444 if you don't like this view you can just switch also as per your need using this square square button so this is very simple to configure the addresses or configure your IDD application to, to achieve the searchable addresses so I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to configure searchable addresses in your IDD application if you have any questions or queries about configuring the IDD application you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also you can hit the like button if you really like this video thank you again and have a nice time